Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from my clay, set my feet upon the rock, and now I know. Hello, my dear friends and family. I trust you are doing well. I am doing well too. Praise be to God. Live and still kicking and flourishing. Praise be to God. The image behind me is of Jesus on his throne. Isn't that just, that's such magnificent. Oh, it looks so awesome. I do look forward to going to heaven and getting all my treasures in heaven and spending time with my relatives and Jesus and God. Praise be to the Lord that we have this beautiful place called heaven to go to after this life. All right, without further ado, let's get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. The scripture is from 3 John 2 and KJV. Beloved, I pray that you prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. The title of this devotional is, Is Your Soul Healthy? Did you know that 90% of all visits to primary care physicians are stress-related? We don't realize how much our emotions, attitudes, and thoughts affect us physically. Today's scripture implies that if our soul is unhealthy, it will spill over into our physical health. If you're living worried, bitter, guilty, and angry, those negative emotions that and that negative energy poisons your soul and weakens your immune systems. It will not fight back, and it won't, it won't, that won't have the ability to fight off your sicknesses. You lie in bed worrying about your finances at night. You can't sleep, then wonder why you have no energy. Your blood pressure is high, and you have constant headaches. It might be related to the bitterness over somewhat of, of what someone had did years ago. You can't take in toxins and not be poisoned. If you get your soul healthy, many of the physical elements will go away. It's all interconnected. Is your soul healthy? Ask God to show you anything that is causing you negative emotions, then release it to him. When you empty out bitterness, unforgiveness, worry, discouragement, God will cause your soul to prosper and fill you with joy and healing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you want both our soul and our health to prosper in all things. Father, we choose to empty out any negativity, any emotions, any bitterness that is not of you, and for you to fill us with your peace, to replace that space. We believe that you will help us, Lord, and, and to keep our body healthy and whole. In your name, Jesus, because when you died on that cross, we exchanged pain and suffering for your healness, your healing and wholeness. So thank you so much. We ask of all these things in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's healing name. Amen. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow. See you real soon. Bye.